this. Uh huh. And another way they do it is to put a little stopcock here. I've seen the stopcock. Yeah. That's so, what I've seen. Base, okay, I'm going to be careful because I don't want you. I'm going to release the pressure. So I undo the hemostat and just let it be. Okay. Watch it for a few couple minutes. Just make sure that you're not going to get any uh, oozing or leaking. If it had shot, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have some blood out. Yeah. Then you pull these sutures, pull them down, push that down so you can hold it by holding here. You can hold the pressure on this tubing and then put the hemostat back on. Okay. Okay, and that would put the pressure back on it. Okay. Then just wait a little bit longer and try again. I'd wait probably at least 30 minutes. Okay. So in the meantime, we're just going to put that down there. And that's doing pretty darn good. And I get myself ready here. To dialyze again? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. So I would leave this dressing on that I'm going to put on, keep it clean and dry until you get to dialysis. Okay. Is it tender in there at all? <clears throat> no. No? Good. Alright, so it's doing good, so then I'll take that off. Then you'll have the two sutures here. You're going to kind of try to separate them out. Okay. The two ends. There you go. Now, important, you only want to cut one of the ends. Okay. Okay. So this is the same place that you would cut, just cut with the, the scissors, mm -hmm. if you had the suture removal. Cut that. Very sharp. And then, you just pull it through. And then I set that there. And then how long do you leave that on for? Um, usually it's on for 24 hours, but I usually I tell them go ahead and leave it on until they go to dialysis. Okay. Because usually it's like sometimes it's in the morning the next day right. or it's sometime the next day. And if it was to start bleeding, just direct pressure. Just direct pressure. And if it doesn't stop bleeding, then notify. Then I start calling the IR. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>